Tickets? Tickets, ma'am? Thank you. You're welcome. You enjoy your ride now? I will. Tickets, sir? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. You enjoy your ride. Thank you. So you think you might want to be a conductor on the great Pennsylvania Railroad. Well, what do you know about railroading? Did you know that at the turn of the century that railroading was the fastest way to travel across the state of Pennsylvania? Now, if you think you might want to be a conductor, then follow me and I'll teach you what you need to know. We set the ties, we cut the stone. We lay the rails for the railroad. We break our backs with pick and axe. We'll sweat and strain. We move the train. We'll sweat and strain. We move the train. So, Ashley, did you know that the conductor is the boss of the train? Yeah, I always thought that. Engineer was the boss. Well, most people think it's the engineer, but it's really not. The conductor's the boss. Actually, he's what we call the captain of the train. And even though he's on the train and in the locomotive and running the locomotive, you can get him to stop, you can get him to start, you can get him to go a little faster, and you do that through this lantern. At night, you light the lantern and wave it in different directions, and it'll tell the engineer different signals. Would you like to learn some signals? Yes. Okay, you'll need to know these if you want to be a conductor. If the train's approaching and you want to signal the engineer to stop the train, you take this lantern and you swing it across your knees, back and forth, and when the engineer sees that, he will stop the train. Okay? You want to try that? Go ahead and swing that across your knees. And you are getting the engineer to do what? Stop. Stop the train. Okay, so he stops the train. You want him to back up a little bit. So there's a signal for reverse. Take the lantern, hold it out like this, and bring it up over your head. And that will get the engineer to reverse the train. OK? You try that. So hold it out and then bring it over your head. And that means? Reverse. OK. <laughs> that means reverse. So he backs up a little bit. Now you want him to come forward. So if you want the train to start up, Take the lantern out to your side and just bring it up like this, okay? And that's telling the engineer to come forward, to proceed, to continue. And try that one. Okay, great. Now let's say he's coming a little too quickly. You want him to slow down? You just take the lantern and hold it out like this, and he will slow down. So you try that. Great. So we have stop. We have reverse, we have proceed, and we have reduce speed. Okay? You think you have it? Yeah. Okay, well let's head down to the train and put you to work. For the railroad, we break our backs with the ganax, with sweat and strain. So Ashley, this is the steam locomotive. It's pretty big, huh? So it pulls those passenger cars. It's steam powered. So we need coal to throw in the firebox. The coal, when heated, heats the water to produce the steam. This here is what we call the steam piston. And from here, the steam drives these wheels, which we call the drive wheels, OK? Up on top, we have what we call the steam dome, smokestack. If you come around the front here, we have a light for in the um, nighttime when we're riding on the tracks. If there's something on the track, it's a warning, just like a whistle is a warning. But if whatever's on the track doesn't get out of the way, we have this normally referred to as a cow catcher. 
obviously because cows sometimes would cross and they would be knocked off the track, but this will also push people off the track. Do you have any questions? No. Now remember I told you that the conductor was the boss or captain of the train? Do you know why? Well, back in about 1904, there was an engineer and there was this young conductor. And in the old days, if you wanted to stop the train, if you were on a passenger car and you wanted to stop the train, you had to walk through all the cars and you got yourself to the end of this locomotive and the conductor would reach into the coal tender where they stored the coal and he would pick up a piece of coal and he would throw it at the engineer to get his attention. Well, this one conductor, he thought of the idea of running a rope from the engine all the way through the passenger cars and if he wanted to signal the engineer who was in the cab, he would pull on that rope. And at the end of the rope, there was a piece of wood. And the engineer would see that rope dangling and would stop the train. Well, this young conductor came up with that idea, but the engineer felt that he was the boss of the train. So when this conductor told him that when I pull this cord and you see this piece of wood start to move, you stop the train, he didn't like that because he felt that he was the boss. So when the conductor went back on the train into the passenger cars, this engineer just tore down that piece of wood. So the conductor, when he wanted to stop the train, he was pulling on this rope. The engineer didn't stop the train. And when they finally stopped at the depot, the conductor ran up to the engineer and asked him why he tore that piece of wood down. And he said, because I'm the boss of the train. Well, the conductor got mad conductor took off his coat, he threw his coat down, he reached up in the cab and pulled that engineer down and threw him on the ground and started to beat him up. He held him down on the ground and he said to that engineer, who's the boss of the train? And the engineer looked up and said, you're the boss of the train. And ever since that day, back in 1904, the conductor has been the boss or captain of the train. All aboard Pennsylvania Railroad Line through to Altoona, all aboard! Ah, good morning, sir. You look like you're employed here. Yes, you I am. Would you happen to be the conductor? Yes, I am the conductor, and this is also one of our conductors. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. Would you happen to be able to tell me if this is the train to Altoona or not? Um, yes, it is the train to Altoona. I just said that. Oh, oh, pardon me. But do you know why I'm asking? Why? because I've been courting this young lady for a few months now, mm -hmm. and I am off to ask her father for her hand in marriage. Well, that is splendid. Yes, it is. Well, good luck to you. Why, thank you. Uh, sir, by the way. Oh, yes. Do you have a ticket? Uh, no, I don't. Well, you need a ticket to board. Do you have money? Oh, uh, yes, I do. That I do. Well, just hurry down to the depot and produce some money, and that lady will give you a ticket, and we'll get you on board here and on to your fiancé. Uh, splendid. That would be outstanding. Well, hurry. Now, Ashley, you must always be courteous to the passengers. We must look out for their safety, but make sure they have a ticket. Now, you take the next one. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Can you please tell me if this is a train to Altoona? Why, yes, it is. Oh, good. For I've been traveling all night from Philadelphia so I can visit my family oh, there. Oh, how nice. Excuse me, oh. ma'am. Yes? Do you have a ticket? Yes, I do. OK, Wonderful. Thanks. Wonderful. You're a fast learner, Ashley. Oh, you again. Yes. Do you have the ticket? Yes, I do. Well, let me see it. OK. Try your other pocket. Uh, yes. Did yes. you put it in your bag? Um, I happen to have misplaced it right now. I can't seem to find well, it. Well, hurry. We must board. Oh. So hurry. We'll look at it later. Very well. Ashley, signal the engineer to start the train. Ashley, one of your duties here on board the train as conductor is to collect the tickets. I want you to walk through the car and I want you to yell, tickets, tickets please, and they will produce their ticket. And when they hand you the ticket, I want you to validate it with this. Now if anyone gives you any trouble, they don't have a ticket, they give you a hard time, you let me know. Okay? Okay. Can you do that? Here, take this punch and we'll walk through the car and you will check their tickets. Okay. Okay, let's go. Tickets, tickets, please. Thank you. Ticket? Do you have a ticket? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I happen to have lost mine, and I'm not leaving this train. 
You, you told me that you had a ticket. Well, you said it was all right for me to board. Only if you had a ticket. Well, I don't have one, and I'm not leaving. Ashley, excuse me. Sir, if you do not have a ticket, you must leave this train. And you can leave on your own accord, or I will throw you off. Well, um... Ashley, hold my coat. Come on, sir. Out you go. Next time, have a ticket. Good luck with the fiance. Have a nice day. Ashley, I really love my work. We set the ties. We cut the stones. We lay the rails for the railroad. We break our backs with pick and axe. We'll sweat and strain. We move the trains. We'll sweat and strain. We move the trains. People are coming to America. And they're looking for a home. Out west, the dream must be. And it's there that we must roam. Got no roads to take them there. Well, I'd like to thank you for a lovely time that I had on the Pennsylvania Railroad. Well, thank you, and we hope that you will be joining us again. I will. Well, thank you. Bye-bye now. And bye, Ashley. Bye. Well, Ashley, what do you think about working as a conductor for the Pennsylvania Railroad? It's fun. That's good. Hey, I have one more thing I'd like to teach you. I'd like to teach you a song that was written about, oh, the conductor and traveling on the railroad in the old days, OK? I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blow the wind? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, blow your horn. Won't you blow, Dino, won't you blow, Dino, won't you blow your horn? Dino, won't you blow, Dino, won't you blow, Dino, won't you blow your horn? Someone's in the kitchen with Dino, someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino, strumming on the old banjo. Singing FIFA, fit the IO, FIFA, fit the IO, FIFA, fit the IO, strumming on the old banjo. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. You hear the whistle blow the wind rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, blow your horn. So, what do you think ever happened to that gentleman that I had to throw off way back there? Set the ties, we cut the stone, we lay the rails for the railroad, we break our backs with pick and axe, we'll sweat and strain, we move the trains, we'll spread and strain, we move the trains. People are coming to America And they're looking for a home Out west the 
country must be And it's there that we must roam Got no roads to take them there There's no boats for them to sail Westward the dream always the tide we cut the stove we lay the rails for the railroad we break our backs with the and axe with sweat and straying we move the trains with sweat and straying we move the trains now the west is within your Skies will greet you.